right, Beavers? I hope we're all well. Are we all looking forward for our camp in May? Just a couple of weeks left to go, and it's all about the circus. You might not know, but there's a special reason for this camp. We're celebrating the Beaver Scout section 35th birthday, which is amazing. So, because we can't camp properly at the minute, all together, we need to set the scene. Now, when you think of circus, you think of the big top, all red and white, bright colours. You think of clowns, jugglers, acrobats, fire eaters, you name it, we see it. What I want to try and do is make you feel like you're at the circus at home. So, we're going to get prepared and we're going to get ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to release a little activity for you to do. So, when we launch camp, on the 14th of May, we'll feel like we're at the circus, which is amazing. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some circus themed bunting. And this will be to hang in our dens. It's really easy. You might need a little bit of adult help uh, with the cutting, but that's all. So, so when you registered on the website, you will see the kit list. And on that kit list is the how-to worksheets um, with the instructions. And some of them have got items on what you need and also templates of different bits and bobs. So for the bunting one was this template. And you needed to print it off. If you couldn't print it off, is to just draw some triangles. Now, what we need to do, first off, with adult help and scissors, be careful with the scissors, is cut out the template. So I've cut out just one of my templates. Use the second one as a spare if this one gets a bit tatty. Now, what you need is all you random bits of paper. They haven't got to be perfect. I've got off cuts here. I'm using colours because it's just what I've got to hand. But even if it's plain paper, it doesn't matter. If you place your template towards the edge, Carefully draw around it. Move your template over to the opposite side so you're near enough in the middle and do exactly the same again. And flip it back to that side. On an A4 sheet, you should be able to get three triangles. What I need is for you to do about 12 of these triangles. So you need to use four sheets of paper if you're using A4, maybe more if they're scraps of paper. Okay. Once you've drawn round your triangle 12 times, we need to cut them out. Again, you will need adult help. So once you've got all of your triangles cut out, it's time to decorate them. Now you only need to decorate on one side and how you decorate them is totally up to you. I've not done the full 12 as I'm just showing you how to do it, but I will be cracking on with it. So I'm ready for the launch. Just remember the circus theme. So I'm just gonna write on mine, Eva's. So I'm gonna put a different letter on each one. So I've got all my pieces decorated. And now what we need to do is we need to flip them over. Now, because I've put the words on, I need to make sure I do this one right. So my B will end up over that side and we need to do it backwards. That's okay. As you may have noticed, we've got a little bit 
of a straight piece there. What we need to do, if we move the rest out of the way, is where that straight piece, piece is, we get the ruler, hold it there and fold that over nice and neatly. Yours are going to be so much better than mine. They're going to look amazing. So I've got that folded over and we need to do that with each one. Okay, you'll see why in a moment. And what you need to do is space them all out in front of you with the folded bits the way you want them, obviously face down, okay? And what you need to do is space them out so you've got roughly about two inches between each one, okay? You don't want the gap too big and you don't want it too small. You then need to get your string and what I recommend is leaving it in a ball if that's how it is until you get to the end. I would say leave about six inches before you start on your first one and then what you do is where the crease is you lay the string in there. You then get either your tape or your glue, fold the flap and glue it down. Okay. Once you've done that one, you then move it along, put your other one back in place, the line there, and do exactly the same and carry on until you've done all of your triangles. So once they're all done, and you've got roughly about six inches of string. You need to part to get it away from you. So it's ready to hang up. Okay, do that on both poles. And once you're ready, your bunting something like this and it's ready to hang up for the launch of camp next video we'll be preparing our bed